This is a required weekly test of the emergency alert system. The <laughs> important instructions will follow. The National Weather Service has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for the following counties in the state of Nevada, Clark, Lincoln, Nye, Esmeralda. At 6.30 p.m. Central Daylight Time, the National Weather Service has detected severe thunderstorms leading to potentially damaging winds heading east at up to 60 miles per hour. <laughs> Civil Danger Warning This message is broadcast at the request of the United States government. Anomalous activity that may affect anyone in the United States has been discovered. This may cause anyone to become violent within about four days after exposure. Exposure itself is unavoidable, as the source is not yet known. However, the chance there too may be reduced by following these tips. Close all doors, lock and barricade all windows while looking outside for as little as possible, to prevent exposure from physical anomalies that may be outside of your home. Wear a PP2 face mask when possible, to prevent exposure to any biological anomalies. Do not allow anyone into your home, regardless of who they are, to prevent exposure to anomalous persons or persons who are affected by an anomaly. Ensure you have enough non-perishable food, water and medical supplies in case of a shelter in place, and to prevent exposure to chemical or biological anomalies. Tune a battery-powered or hand-crank radio to your local NOAA weather radio station to stay updated on the latest news and survival instructions. Do not switch your radio to any other station to prevent exposure to anomalous sounds or people under influence of an anomaly. An anomaly is defined as follows, any object, person or phenomenon that does not fit in reality. If you suspect an anomaly in your area, call 911 immediately to have the anomaly secured or eliminated. This message has been transmitted at the request of the State of Nevada, the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, and a non-governmental affiliated organization. Protect yourself against a biological hazard as soon as possible. The Center for Disease Control and Prevention of Nevada has detected a sudden spike in the infection of Californian citizens with a previously unknown virus that can lead to increased levels of aggression. The initial symptoms for infection are drowsiness, coughing, a flu that slowly worsens, and headaches. These symptoms may not be present in all infected people. If someone you know has any of these symptoms or suddenly becomes violent, call 911 immediately and try to get as far away from that person as possible. They may suddenly attack and bite you, which is the primary means of transmission of this virus. Because the virus is also known to be spread via aerosols, it is recommended to wear a PP2 face mask when possible to prevent you from getting infected or unknowingly spreading the virus. If you don't have PP2 masks on hand, they are readily available in stores across the country and may be distributed by the Nevada Police Department when the situation worsens. For your safety, follow all instructions from police officers and paramedics. Keep a safe distance from others, and work from home whenever possible.
National alert this message has been transmitted at the request of the United States government. This is not a test. Repeat, this is not a test. A new virus, now called paralovirus, originating in the state of Nevada is now spreading through the entire United States. The virus is known to lead to aggressive tendencies in infected persons. This has resulted in many incidents of violence throughout the country. Beware of persons who exhibit the following symptoms, and call 911 immediately if you or anyone around you has them, drowsiness, coughing, a flu that slowly worsens, headaches. These persons must be tested for the paralovirus for your safety and the safety of others. Wear a PP2 mask to prevent infection and spread of the virus through airborne particles. They are currently being distributed by Centers for Disease Control and Prevention free of charge. Stay at home, in a room isolated from any other residents, whenever this is possible. Follow all orders from police officers and paramedics, except if they order you to leave your home, and no evacuation alert has been issued. They may be infected by the paralovirus and try to infect you or have surrounding infected persons infect you. Every positive test will be publicly registered. It is advised to stay away from persons you know that are on this list, however, this should not be used to determine the level of safety in your area. If you decide to evacuate voluntarily, follow these tips, turn off the main circuit breaker. Close all water taps and gas supply lines. Close and barricade all doors and windows when possible. Leave a white blanket over your mailbox as a sign of evacuation. Call your local police department for secure transportation. Do not travel alone. It is generally not advised to evacuate, unless an evacuation order is issued or multiple people in your neighborhood are suspected or confirmed to be infected by the paralovirus. By being close to any individual or crowd of people, you increase the risk of catching the paralovirus. All airports, Railroads and interstate highways are closed down until further notice. National alert this message has been transmitted at the request of the United States government. This is an emergency action notification. This is not a test. Repeat, this is not a test. The paralovirus is currently spreading faster than expected. Over 1% of the U.S. population is confirmed to be infected at this time. Do not go outside unless if this is absolutely necessary. All interstate travel is currently prohibited except with authorization from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, and with good reason, like delivery of essential services or transport of infected persons. The authorization can be applied for by calling 555-0CDC or via www.cdc.gov. The United States Army has been deployed in the state of Nevada due to the infection rate of the paralovirus. They may use lethal force against anyone who shows symptoms of a potential paralovirus infection, commits any act of violence, interferes with paramedical and military interventions, attempts to leave the state with no good reason or without authorization from the Center for Disease Control and Prevention. If you or someone around you shows symptoms of paralovirus infection, call 911 immediately. No vaccine or cure exists for the virus. So it's important that everyone keeps a safe distance of 5 feet to reduce the chance of infection. Non-infected citizens of the following states are advised to evacuate due to the high concentration of infected people, California, Texas, New Mexico, and New York. From all other states, evacuation is not recommended at this time, though it may be a good reason to leave your state of residence. If you evacuate, follow these tips, turn off the main circuit breaker. Close all water taps and gas supply lines. Close and barricade all doors and windows when possible. Leave a white blanket over your mailbox as a sign of evacuation. Call your local police department for secure transportation. Do not travel alone.
Event type is biological. This is an emergency warning for the following provinces. Ontario, Manitoba, Saskatchewan, Alberta. If you do not live in these provinces, but you still see this message, you are still advised to stand by and follow the instructions given. The American Paralovirus is rapidly spreading in the aforementioned Canadian provinces. The virus is known to increase levels of aggression in any infected persons. This may be preceded or combined with the following symptoms. Drowsiness, coughing, a flu that slowly worsens, headaches. If you or someone around you has these symptoms, call 911 immediately. Tests are currently administered to those suspected of paralivirus infection. No vaccine or cure currently exists for this virus. Be aware that city boundaries are temporarily closed for your safety. If you wish to enter or leave your city without an evacuation order or advice, you should gain the authorization to do so at your local city hall. Anyone who enters or leaves any city without authorization will be detained and tested for the paralivirus. Stay at home whenever possible. Wear a PP2 face mask to prevent infection and further spread. Do not interact with any persons inside or outside of your family, as they may be infected. When you are driving, close all windows and do not stop for anyone who asks you to do so. It is likely these persons are attempting to attack you and therefore infect you with that virus. Le type d'événement est biologique. Il s'agit d'un avertissement d'urgence pour les provinces suivantes. Ontario, Manitoba, Saskatchewan et Alberta. Si vous n'habitez pas dans ces provinces, mais que vous voyez quand même ce message, il vous est quand même conseillé de rester prêt et de suivre les instructions données. Les pères et le virus américain se propagent rapidement dans les provinces canadiennes sous mentionnées. Le virus est connu pour augmenter les niveaux d'agressivité chez toute personne infectée. Ceci peut être précédé ou combiné aux symptômes suivants. Somnolence, toux, grippe qui s'aggrave lentement, maux de tête. Si vous ou quelqu'un de votre entourage présentez ces symptômes, appelez immédiatement le 911. Des tests sont actuellement administrés aux personnes suspectées d'être infectées par le périlovirus. Il n'existe actuellement aucun vaccin et remède contre ce virus. Attention, les limites de la ville sont temporairement fermées pour votre sécurité. Si vous souhaitez entrer ou sortir de votre ville sans ordre ni avis d'évacuation, vous devez obtenir l'autorisation de le faire auprès de votre mairie. Toute personne entrant ou sortant d'une ville sans autorisation sera arrêtée et testée pour le péril de virus. Restez à la maison autant que possible. Portez un masque facial PP2 pour prévenir l'infection et sa propagation. N'interagissez avec aucune personne à l'intérieur ou à l'extérieur de votre famille, car elle pourrait être infectée. Lorsque vous conduisez, fermez toutes les fenêtres et ne vous arrêtez pas lorsque quelqu'un vous le demande. Il est probable que ces personnes tentent de vous attaquer et donc de vous infecter avec le virus. Esta es una alerta de emergencia del gobierno del México. Un virus altamente peligroso se está propagando entre la población de México y el resto del mundo. Este virus convierte a las víctimas en zombies que tienen mayores niveles de agresión contra las personas no infectadas. El virus se propaga fácilmente a través de aerosoles y contacto físico. Los zombies pueden tener o no los siguientes síntomas, tos extrema, fiebre intensa y que empeora, dolores de cabeza o somnolencia. No te acerques a los zombies, no entres en áreas boscosas y grandes áreas abiertas, quédate adentro siempre que sea posible. Utilice una máscara de seguridad en exteriores y en edificios públicos, preferiblemente una máscara PP2 o una máscara antigas. Si te atacan, primero intenta huir. No entables una conversación con un zombie, esto provocará la propagación de aerosoles y puede llevarte a una trampa. Ahora es legal en México poseer y usar armas de fuego y armas punzantes grandes contra zombies cuando sea necesario. Si aún no domina su uso, Siga la capacitación siempre que sea posible. No los utilice contra personas no infectadas, ya que esto sigue siendo ilegal. Las armas de fuego se pueden encontrar en los Estados Unidos o en tiendas especiales. Repito, el uso de armas de fuego y otros dispositivos de autodefensa es el último recurso en caso de que seas atacado por zombies o intenten irrumpir en tu casa. Si matan a un zombie. Llame a su municipio local para iniciar la retirada del cuerpo. Es posible que todavía tenga aerosoles de perilovirus que se liberan en el aire. 
cuando conduzca ahí dentro de los 100 kilómetros de su destino fuera de las principales ciudades, complete su viaje cuando sea posible sin detenerse. De lo contrario, dirígete al primer refugio de emergencia que encuentres. Todas las principales ciudades mexicanas serán evacuadas para eliminar zombies y reducir el número de contagios. Si vive en uno, utilice todos los medios disponibles para ingresar al refugio de emergencia más cercano posible. Todos los zombies confirmados serán puestos en cuarentena lejos del refugio para evitar el contacto y el escape. Advertencia. Este anuncio está autorizado oficialmente por el Ministerio de Salud. No salga a la calle a menos que sea absolutamente necesario. Si tiene que salir, no interactúe con nadie que no sea un oficial de policía, un paramédico o un médico. Utilice una máscara antigas para protegerse. Un virus peligroso se está propagando rápidamente en Perú. Este virus se conoce como perilovirus americano y provoca que sus víctimas, conocidas como zombies, adquieran tendencias agresivas. El virus se propaga a través de aerosoles o por contacto entre fluidos corporales. Si te atacan, primero intenta huir. Si esto no es posible, utiliza cuchillos o fuego para defenderte. Si usted o alguien que conoce tiene los siguientes síntomas, llame al 911 de inmediato, tos, somnolencia y o fiebre intensa y que empeora. Tenga en cuenta que es posible que estos síntomas no aparezcan inmediatamente después del inicio de la infección. No confíes en nadie por tener o no el virus. Prepárate para defender tu hogar en caso de un ataque zombie. Cierra todas las puertas detrás de ti. Cuando conduzca, cierre todas las ventanas y no se detenga ante nadie que intente acercarse a usted, ya que puede estar infectado. No utilice taxis ni servicios de transporte público. Evite la plaza de armas y cualquier otra área abierta. Todos los zombies serán puestos en cuarentena y utilizados para la investigación de tratamientos. Lamentamos tener que tomar tales medidas, pero son esenciales para la existencia continuada de la humanidad. No interrumpa las operaciones militares desplegadas para detener la propagación del perilovirus. National alert this message is transmitted at the request of the United States government. At this time, the paralovirus has started spreading beyond the boundaries of the United States. The countries with the most infected persons are Canada, China and the United Kingdom. Due to delays in the creation of a cure or vaccine, the United States Army is currently envisioning a sterilization plan for all major cities in the southwest and midwest of the United States. This may include the use of nuclear weapons. Gather enough food, water and medical supplies to last at least 14 days. Ensure you have a battery-powered or hand-crank radio and that it is working and easily accessible. When possible, create an inner refuge in the lowest, most inner room of your house, preferably a basement. If this is not possible, visit www.cdc.gov to locate the nearest emergency shelters. All airplanes are grounded indefinitely to stop the spread of the paralovirus. Beware of falling aircraft. Any civilian aircraft currently in American airspace are taken down by the United States Air Force immediately after detection. If you live within one mile from an airport or Air Force installation, enter a public emergency shelter immediately. The location of these emergency shelters, as well as major Air Force installations to avoid, 
can be found on www.cdc.gov. Upon entry, you will be tested for infection, and all infected are placed in quarantine. Bring only clothing, personal hygiene supplies, items related to your career, education, hobby and or business, and prescription medicine to these emergency shelters. When driving, obey all traffic rules. Do not stop for anyone asking you to do so as they may be infected with the paralavirus. Do not go outside unless if absolutely necessary for your survival. If you have to defend yourself, you are allowed to use firearms against any infected persons. Report the use of firearms against infected persons to your local municipality afterwards, to commence the sanitation and burial of the body and thus prevent further spread of the paralavirus from this body. This是中国共产党授权的紧急警告 所有火车站和机场均不对公众开放，且仅可用于基本货物运输。当外出或与其他人在一起时，请戴上口罩，以帮助防止病毒传播和感染。与他人保持二点零米的安全距离。如有以下症状，请尽快向国家。This is an emergency warning authorized by the Communist Party of China. Disobedience to the instructions given in this alert will lead to harsh punishment or to danger to your life. The American perilovirus is currently spreading in the People's Republic of China, particularly in the cities of Beijing, Shanghai, Shenzhen and Hong Kong. Do not leave your area of residence without electronic authorization from the National Health Commission. Any persons attempting to leave their area of residence without such authorization will be shot on sight. All rail stations and airports are closed for public access and may only be used for essential cargo transportation. When you are outside or with other people, wear a face mask to help prevent the spread and infection of the virus. Maintain a safe distance of 2.0 meters to others, and report anyone with the following symptoms to the National Health Commission as soon as possible. Drowsiness, coughing, a flu that slowly worsens, and or headaches. Especially a combination of these symptoms may indicate a perilovirus infection. If you have been attacked by an infected person, call the National Health Commission as soon as possible. Do not go outside. This message has been transmitted at the request of the United States government. This is an attack warning. Repeat, this is an attack warning. The United States Army is about to commence the use of chemical and nuclear weapons to neutralize the paralovirus and eliminate all infected persons, now considered zombies because of their highly aggressive nature. The following cities will be neutralized, Las Vegas, Los Angeles, Carson City, New York, Dallas, Santa Fe, San Antonio, Houston. If you live in any of these cities, and are currently uninfected, evacuate immediately. Evacuation operations have commenced in these cities to prepare for the use of chemical and nuclear weapons. If you are driving in these cities, head to the nearest emergency shelter as soon as possible. Emergency shelters are clearly marked by traffic signs. Upon entry, you will be tested for infection with the paralavirus. Any persons infected will be quarantined. Scientists have now observed infected persons forming groups and collectively attacking anyone around them. Do not attempt to kill hordes of zombies, as they will overpower you unless you have highly explosive weaponry. The President of the United States is currently missing, along with over one million others. If anyone suddenly goes missing and returns, assume the worst. 
they are extremely likely to have been infected by the paralovirus. Zombies are highly violent, even against their former loved ones. They may use conversations as a trap to infect you. They are no longer the same as their former self. If you come across a zombie, call 911 immediately. This is the BBC. Please stand by for an emergency message. This is the BBC. Please stand by for an emergency message. This is the BBC. Please stand by for an emergency message. This is the BBC. Please stand by for an emergency message. This is not our test. This emergency message is broadcast at the request of the National Health Service. The American paralovirus is rapidly spreading throughout the entire United Kingdom. This is a virus that spreads via airborne particles and via contact between bodily fluids and makes the infected person more prone to aggression. Infected person are referred to as zombies as a reference to popular culture. Major infection hubs are London, Liverpool, Manchester, Leeds, Edinburgh, Glasgow, Belfast. Please follow the instructions in this emergency message to prevent infection with and spread of this virus. Do not go outside unless if absolutely necessary. If you must go outside or interact with others, wear a Pages 2 medical face mask. Stay away from persons with the following symptoms, drowsiness, coughing, a flu that slowly worsens, and or headaches. If you or anyone around you has any of these symptoms, contact the emergency services immediately. These persons will be tested and, when infected, will be quarantined. If you absolutely must self-defend, use whatever weapons you have on hand. Firearms are now allowed to be used by anyone capable of doing so, like military personnel, police officers and licensed hunters, to attack anyone who performs or is about to perform violent acts against any others. When you are inside, ensure a safe distance to others, and be prepared to defend yourself. It is likely that zombies or groups thereof may try to break in and attack you, leading to infection and serious injury. Zombies are known to retain their previous memories and take part in conversations to use them as a trap to infect non-infected participants. Stay away from large open areas. Where there are people, there will be zombies. A national curfew therefore is set between 10 p.m. and 5 a.m. Anyone outside during this time will be fined 300 UK pounds and quarantined. This is an emergency alert issued by the Department of Health of the Republic of Ireland. The American paralovirus is currently in the Republic of Ireland. The virus turns infected persons into zombies constantly compelled to attack non-infected persons. These attacks are the primary means of viral spread, though the virus may also spread via airborne particles. Follow these instructions to protect yourself against infection. Do not go outside unless if absolutely necessary. If you do go outside, wear a face mask at all times and avoid large open areas. Do not engage in a conversation with people who you do not know or who show symptoms of a zombie infection, as they may attack at any moment. Zombies can often, though not always, be identified by the following symptoms, drowsiness, coughing, a flu that slowly worsens, and or headaches. These symptoms can fade away quickly after forming, so if anyone around you shows any of these symptoms, call 112 or 999 immediately. Any persons reported to have paralovirus symptoms will be tested, and those tested positive will be quarantined. Beware, zombies can use any interaction as a lure to infect you. Emergency powers are now in effect. Failure to obey any declarations by the president will result in imprisonment. When you are indoors, be prepared to defend yourself against hordes of zombies attempting to enter. Chemical and nuclear attacks may be used to eliminate the zombie threat in other parts of the world. Treat all tap water as contaminated, and only use water in sealed bottles. Thank you for listening to this emergency alert. Stay tuned for updates and survival instructions. Emergency 
The United States government and the North Atlantic Treaty Organization have announced that all major perilivirus infection hubs in the United Kingdom, China and the United States will be struck with chemical weapons to minimize the spread of this dangerous virus. UK cities to be targeted. London, Glasgow, Edinburgh, Liverpool, Manchester, Leeds, Belfast. This is our last resort measure taken only due to the severe effects of infection. Chemical weapons will cause death or severe long-term harm to all who breathe in the agents. The target cities and the area one mile around them will be evacuated immediately. Proceed to your city hall or community center as soon as possible and only carry essential items with you. You will be tested for perilivirus infection and those tested positive will be prevented from evacuating. Attacks will commence within six hours. Do not delay your evacuation. Chemical agents are extremely harmful or fatal. Do not return to your city after the attack until the all clear is given. Jingle 化学武器可造成严重伤害或死亡。尽量少带。撤离人员将接受美国州病毒检测，感染者将被隔离。解放军怀疑这些袭击来自美国和法国。这些国家将因危害中国人民而受到惩罚。Warning: Missiles containing a chemical warhead are currently heading to Beijing, Shanghai, Shenzhen, and Hong Kong. This is an emergency warning authorized by the Chinese Communist Party and is intended for these cities only. All citizens of these cities are to evacuate immediately. Beware of the dangers of chemical weapons. Chemical weapons can cause severe harm or death. Take as little with you as possible. Evacuees will be tested for the American perilovirus, and those infected will be quarantined. The People's Liberation Army suspects that these attacks are coming from the United States and France and these countries will be punished for their endangerment of the Chinese people. National alert the following message is transmitted at the request of the United States government. This is not a test. Repeat, this is not a test. The United States Department of Defense has authorized the launch of chemical weapons to all state capitals and other U.S. cities with high paralovirus reproduction rates. If you hear the air raid siren, this means your city will be neutralized. If you are not infected, you should evacuate these cities immediately. Use whatever means available to you to leave your area of residence or find the nearest fallout shelter. Fallout shelters will only accept those tested negative on the paralovirus. Those tested positive will be terminated on entrance. Do not return to your home until the all clear has been given. Be prepared to defend yourself against zombies, carry sharp tools or firearms with you at all times. Turn off electric, gas and water supply. If you cannot evacuate, wave a white cloth outside to attract attention from helicopters. All cities to be neutralized will be barricaded and struck within 24 hours. Beware of traffic on all major highways caused by this event. If you do not live in a city to be neutralized, keep practicing standard hygiene rules and do not enter a city that has been barricaded for any reason. All logistic supply lines are terminated for the duration of this event. Ensure you have enough food, water, medical supplies and a battery-powered or hand-crank radio tuned to your local NOAA weather radio station.
National Alert The following message is transmitted at the request of the United States government. It is currently noted that many infected persons in quarantine are attempting to escape prisons and hospitals across the United States and beyond. Please beware that those people may still be infected by the parallel virus. If a person you know was tested for this virus shows up again after more than one week, assume they have escaped quarantine without having cured of the parallel virus unless the Center for Disease Control has confirmed otherwise. Do not open the door for anyone, regardless if they are expected or not. Beware that military installations have been placed around hospitals where escape by infected persons is common and they use automatic facial recognition systems to locate and terminate infected persons in quarantine. Do not approach any hospitals except to seek treatment. Dit is een noodwaarschuwing. Luchtalarm. Het Amerikaanse perilovirus is in Nederland in opmars. Dit virus zorgt voor een toename van agressie in geïnfecteerden, ook wel zombies genoemd. Als bij hun aanval een open wond ontstaat, wordt hier door het virus verspreid. Bescherm uzelf en uw familie tegen een infectie. Draag een gasmasker of medisch mondkapje om uzelf te beschermen tegen luchtdeeltjes welke het virus bevatten. Ga niet naar buiten tenzij dit absoluut noodzakelijk is. Sluit ramen en deuren. Vermijd open pleinen, parken en bossen. Als u of iemand in de buurt de symptomen van een perilovirus heeft, waarschuw dan onmiddellijk de ambulance via 112. De symptomen betreffen hoofdpijn, een ernstige en toenemende koorts, sufheid en extreme hoest, waaronder het ophoesten van bloed. Geïnfecteerden worden zo snel mogelijk in quarantaine geplaatst. Hou rekening mee dat zombies in quarantaine mogelijk ontsnappen, dus als u iemand ziet die in quarantaine was geplaatst, wees extra op uw hoede. Indien iemand u aanvalt, probeer eerst te vluchten. Het is toegestaan in het openbaar messen te dragen en deze te gebruiken om uzelf en anderen te verdedigen tegen zombies. Zorg er hierbij voor dat geen bloed vrijkomt, aangezien hierdoor het virus wordt verspreid. Indien u wordt aangevallen door een groep zombies, bel onmiddellijk 1, 1, 2. Pleeg geen tegenaanvallen tegen groepen zombies. Zij zijn alleen onschadelijk te maken door middel van explosieven of vuurwapens. De minister-president is geïnfecteerd geraakt met het perilovirus, net als burgemeesters en raadsleden van veel gemeenten. National alert this message is transmitted at the request of the United States government. The President of the United States is confirmed dead. The cause of death is confirmed to be an extreme fever caused by an infection with the parallel virus. There are over one million zombies in the United States at this time. The virus is highly dangerous and is known to kill zombies within days or weeks. Obey all instructions in official emergency alerts to ensure your survival and help stop the spread of this dangerous virus. Be aware that some zombies may not exhibit all or any symptoms of the parallel virus. Do not approach anyone except if they are from the United States Army, Navy, Coast Guard or Air Force, a police force or a paramedical facility. The internet kill switch has been activated due to rampant disinformation about the virus. Do not tune into any non-NOAA radio station, as others may be used to continue the spread of disinformation. Martial law is now in effect. Anyone outside without a good reason will be terminated or quarantined. It's best to stay indoors, and to keep all doors and windows locked. Have a firearm or other offensive weapon on hand, in case zombies attempt to break into your home or shelter. Do not use a cell phone or landline phone. The telephone lines must be kept open for emergency and military use. This is an emergency advice. The current level is advice meaning that there is a potential for an emergency to occur and you should prepare yourself in case thereof. The American parallel virus is rapidly spreading across the world, and is likely to infect Australians as well. 
the virus increases aggressive tendencies in infected people, referred to as zombies. These zombies will attack others to infect the virus. Though this method of transmission is less effective, the virus may also spread via airborne particles. Therefore, it is advised to make the necessary preparations to protect yourself and anyone around you. Ensure you have enough food, water and medical supplies to last for at least 14 days, in case of nuclear or chemical attack, or a local and sudden outbreak of the virus. Wherever you are, wear a face mask with PP2 certification or a gas mask to prevent inhalation of aerosols containing the virus. Carry an I-4 blunt weapon with you for self-defense against zombies. Zombies may exhibit the following symptoms, headache, severe and worsening fever, drowsiness, extreme coughing, which may lead to coughing up blood, and a pale skin. If you see any person with these symptoms, call 000 immediately. Zombies will be quarantined. Beware they may escape without warning, and then continue to attack. The peril of virus can kill you in a time between 3 days and 6 weeks. Beware that chemical... We are sorry for the break in this program. Please stand by for the following emergency warning. इस कार्यक्रम में विराम के लिए हमें खेद है कृपया निम्नलिखित आपातकालीन चेतावनी के लिए तैयार रहें। We are sorry for the break in this program. Please stand by for the following emergency warning. इस कार्यक्रम में विराम के लिए हमें खेद है कृपया निम्नलिखित आपातकालीन चेतावनी के लिए तैयार रहें। Emergency warning. आपातकालीन चेतावनी। Emergency warning. आपातकालीन चेतावनी। Emergency warning. आपातकालीन चेतावनी। Emergency warning. आपातकालीन चेतावनी। This is not a test. Repeat. This is not a test. This emergency warning is issued at the request of the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. The American Perilla virus is causing a pandemic and has started infecting persons on Indian soil. This virus will increase levels of aggression in infected persons. The infected persons are referred to as zombies because of this, and may also be identified, though not reliably, via these symptoms: headache, severe and worsening fever. Drowsiness, extreme coughing, which may lead to coughing up blood, and a pale skin. If you come across someone with these symptoms, or if you have these symptoms, call the emergency services immediately. Do not approach anyone who is not a government official, and only if you need their help. Wear protective equipment, like a medical face mask, to protect yourself from aerosols which may contain the virus. Do not go outside unless if absolutely necessary. Avoid large open areas and the use of bus or rail networks whenever possible. Where there are people, there will be zombies. If anyone rings at or knocks on your door, regardless if expected or not, do not open for them, as they may be infected. Be prepared to defend yourself and your home against zombies trying to break in. In case of a major local outbreak or nuclear attack, ensure you have enough food, water and medical supplies for at least 14 days. Do not go outside unless absolutely necessary. This is not a test. ये कोई परीक्षण नहीं है ये आपातकालीन चेतावनी स्वास्थ्य और परिवार कल्याण मंत्रालय के अनुरोध पर जारी की गई है अमेरिकन पेरिलो वायरस एक महामारी का कारण बन रहा है और इसने भारतीय धरती पर लोगों को संक्रमित करना शुरू कर दिया है ये वायरस संक्रमित व्यक्तियों में आक्रामकता के स्तर को बढ़ा देगा संक्रमित व्यक्तियों को इस वजह से जो अम्बी कहा जाता है और उनकी पहचान भी की जा सकती है हालांकि विश्वसनीय रूप से नहीं इन लक्षणों के माध्यम से सिर दर्द गंभीर और बदतर बुखार उन्नींदापन अत्यधिक खांसी जिससे खांसी में खून आ सकता है और ये पीली त्वचा यदि आप इन लक्षणों वाले किसी व्यक्ति से मिलते हैं या यदि आपके पास ये लक्षण हैं तो तुरंत आपातकालीन सेवाओं को कॉल करें किसी ऐसे व्यक्ति से संपर्क न करें जो सरकारी अधिकारी नहीं है और केवल तभी संपर्क करें जब बाप को उनकी सहायता की आवश्यकता हो अपने आप को एरोसॉल से बचाने के लिए मेडिकल फेस मास्क जैसे सुरक्षात्मक उपकरण पहने जिसमें वायरस हो सकता है जब तक बहुत जरूरी न हो बाहर न जाएं जब भी संभव हो बड़े खुले क्षेत्रों और बस या रेल नेटवर्क के उपयोग से बचें जहां लोग हैं वहां लाशें होंगी यदि कोई आपके दरवाजे पर घंटी बजाता है या दस्तक देता है भले ही अपेक्षित हो या नहीं उनके लिए दरवाजा न खोलें क्योंकि वे संक्रमित हो सकते हैं घर में घुसने की कोशिश करने वाले जोम्बी से अपनी और अपने घर की रक्षा करने के लिए तैयार रहे किसी बड़े स्थानीय प्रकोप या परमाणु हमले की स्थिति में सुनिश्चित करें कि आपके पास कम से कम 14 दिनों के लिए पर्याप्त भोजन पानी और चिकित्सा आपूर्ति हो जब तक बहुत जरूरी न हो बाहर न जाए
Tubatirar 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 Antestanist Tirar Ned An Azmasha Nest Wizarat Bihadashat Durman Amwiz Shazash An Nahash Dar Rabban Ranan Ghalu Wurus Amran Sadr Raddahu Ast An Warusi Bisaru Khatiran An Umasr Sit زوران أفراد الودها الرابي هزام بودبد الند قرنطن وأمل أغاز شده أست هرا سخان خود را طرند بانرو مربار مواجه خواه دشد همه خنوج رهها رابي بندد وسد ند وهم مهدرها راقف الند برونا نرود مردر صورت دوستو ردر مواقع اضطرار أرس درخان الشمع لائم زر الرادارد غار السفدراء أزبرون تان دهد تاتا وجنه أرد مل رابه خود جلبند سردرد ألود تب شدد أوبيدتر سرفح شدد صرفه خوني أران غير دخوست فرد بأ أن على محتمال ألوده أست أن أفراد در صورت مثبت بودون تست قرنطنا خواهند شد غير الوروس احتمالا أزا ألات متحدة سرشمهم ردوا آران برنامه حمله به أن شور راتم لرده أست زورا احتمالا سلاح زست أجاد شده توسط أرتش ألات متحدة أست ما تمام متوان خود رابن ران محافظة أز خود الدن إسلام دور برابر تأثيرات خارج به هرش الإنجام خواهم داد أتت الله أنون رسوم مرده إعلام شده أست أن احتمال بهد للي ابتلى به غل وروس أمر نس در أن زمان سعنون دخان خود را ترند نجات جان هما نجات فضل لتها This is an emergency alert. The current threat level is emergency, meaning an emergency is taking place and you should act immediately to protect yourself and anyone around you. The American peril of virus is currently spreading in Australia. Beware that this virus is extremely dangerous and turns people into aggressive zombies who use violence or proximity to spread the virus. Stay indoors. Stay calm. Do not go outside. Reminder that the use of a face mask at all times is recommended and this is mandatory in all large open areas, which should be avoided whenever possible. Beware that military personnel is placed around all Australian capital cities, and these are ordered to shoot at any non-residents breaking the city boundaries. If you are in a capital city, it's recommended to enter an emergency centres in rural areas. Emergency centres are now open, and are clearly signposted. Upon entry of an emergency centre, you will be tested on the peril of virus and positive tested persons are terminated immediately. If you're driving and within 10 kilometers of your destination, not being a capital city, complete your journey. Otherwise, pull over and seek shelter in the nearest emergency center. Do not go outside in any other case. If you must defend yourself against zombies, use any weapons you have on hand. If you do not have any weapons, call 000 immediately. Do not use the phone except for calling 000. The telephone lines must be kept open for emergency use. All airplane traffic in Australian airspace is forbidden. All ships in Australian ports are ordered to stay on shore and not let any persons out until the all clear is given.
さんペリロウイルスは現在、日本及び世界各地に蔓延しています。このウイルスは感染者をゾンビに変えることが知られています。ゾンビは非常に凶暴で、ウイルスの蔓延を助けるために非感染者を攻撃する傾向があります。ウイルスのさらなる拡散を阻止し、緊急警報や警察官の指示にはすべて従ってください。絶対に必要な場合以外は外出しないでください。ウイルスを含む空気中の粒子から身を守るためにフェイスマスクを着用してください。他のチャンネルでは、特に現在の非常に危険な状況を軽視することにより、偽情報でユーザーを誤解させる可能性があります。Warning. Emergency. The American peril of virus is currently spreading across Japan and the rest of the world. This virus is known to turn infected people into zombies. Zombies are extremely violent and have a tendency to attack non-infected persons to help the spread of the virus. Stop the further spread of the virus. And follow all instructions in emergency alerts and given by police officers. Do not go outside unless absolutely necessary. Wear a face mask to protect yourself from airborne particles containing the virus. The virus has the following symptoms extreme coughing, a severe and worsening fever, a pale and disintegrating skin, headaches, and drowsiness. If you or anyone you know has these symptoms, or is being attacked by a zombie, call 110 immediately. Those tested positive for the peril of virus will be quarantined in extra secure locations to prevent escape. Treatments are currently being tested for the peril of virus to end this situation. These treatments are expected to be available for the general public in 2-3 weeks. Avoid all open areas, as they are hot spots for zombies. Where there are people, there may be zombies in between them. Do not enter large crowds when possible. Stay tuned to NHK radio or TV stations to stay updated on the situation. Other channels may mislead you with disinformation, specifically by downplaying the current and highly dangerous situation. This emergency warning is sent by the SABC at the request of the South African Department of Health. We are sorry. But we were unable to prevent the paralavirus pandemic from affecting South African citizens. This virus is highly dangerous and increases violent tendencies in infected persons, causing them to be turned into zombies. These zombies will attack and infect non infected persons by contact with bodily fluids or by their aerosols. It's highly advised to protect yourself against infection. Do not go outside. Unless if this is absolutely necessary for survival. Close and barricade all windows. Do not open your door for anyone, regardless if you know them or not. Do not interact with anyone except military and police officers and paramedics. Anyone else may use conversations as a trap to infect you. It is now too late to stay in Cape Town and Johannesburg, as these are prime spots for zombies. These cities are being evacuated by South African military officers and UN peacekeeping forces. Avoid all large open areas and forests. Wear a face mask. Obey all instructions from police and military officers. If you or anyone around you shows the following symptoms, call 10177 immediately for a paralavirus test, head ashes, pale and disintegrating skin, severe and worsening f e w Drowsiness, extreme coughing, coughing up blood. Persons with these symptoms will be quarantined when tested positive, and used for experiments which may end up in a cure for the perilavirus. Stay calm, as panic can only make a situation worse. It has been discovered that some infected persons were able to overcome their tendencies via a form of psychotherapy. This is, however, only of temporary nature and should not be attempted. We will update you on the current situation. Sie sehen jetzt ARD. Wir entschuldigen uns für die Unterbrechung des laufenden Programms. Bitte bleiben Sie dran für eine Notfallwarnung des modularen Warnsystems. Das ist kein Test. Wiederholung: Dies ist kein Test. Ein gefährliches Virus breitet sich derzeit weltweit rasant aus. Bei diesem Virus handelt es sich um das amerikanische Perilovirus, das dafür bekannt ist, 
seine Opfer in aggressive Zombies zu verwandeln. Diese Zombies können andere Personen angreifen und infizieren. Sie können, wenn auch nicht immer, an den folgenden Symptomen erkannt werden, Schläfrigkeit, Kopfschmerzen, blasse und sich auflösende Haut, starker Husten, Bluthusten, schweres und sich verschlimmerndes Fieber. Rufen Sie sofort 112 an, wenn Sie oder jemand in Ihrer Nähe eines dieser Symptome hat. Unterhalten Sie sich nicht mit ihnen. Es gelang den Menschen, die durch das Virus verursachte Aggression zu überwinden, aber dies hat möglicherweise keine dauerhafte Wirkung. Gehen Sie nicht auf Personen zu, die nicht zum medizinischen Dienst oder zu Polizei- und Militärdiensten gehören, da diese möglicherweise infiziert sind, ohne Symptome zu zeigen. Infizierte Personen werden unter Quarantäne gestellt und sterben innerhalb von drei Tagen bis zwei Wochen, typischerweise durch extremes Fieber oder Dehydrierung. Gehen Sie nicht raus, es sei denn, es ist absolut notwendig. Tragen Sie Schutzkleidung, zum Beispiel eine PP2-Gesichtsmaske, um sich vor Infektionen durch Luft getragene Partikel zu schützen. Wenn Sie von einem Zombie angegriffen werden, rennen Sie nach Möglichkeit weg. Wenn dies nicht möglich ist, verwenden Sie Schneidwerkzeuge oder Feueranzünder, um den Zombie zu besiegen. Pfefferspray ist gegen Zombies höchst wirkungslos. Greife keine Gruppen von Zombies an. Rufen Sie sofort 112 an, wenn Sie eines sehen. Vermeiden Sie große offene Flächen und Menschenmassen. Seien Sie bereit, Ihr Zuhause zu verteidigen, es ist wahrscheinlich, dass Zombies einbrechen und die Bewohner angreifen. Verbarrikadieren Sie alle Fenster und Hintertüren und öffnen Sie die Tür für niemanden. Vielleicht haben sich sogar deine Freunde in Zombies verwandelt. Derzeit wird an einer Behandlung geforscht, die jedoch möglicherweise nicht rechtzeitig verfügbar ist, um zu verhindern, dass Länder aufgrund der Pandemie auseinanderfallen. Bereiten Sie sich auf das Schlimmste vor, stellen Sie sicher, dass Sie mindestens 14 Tage lang genug Nahrung und Wasser haben, sowie ein batteriebetriebenes oder handkorbebetriebenes Radio, das auf Ihren lokalen Art Radiosender eingestellt ist, um Updates und Überlebensanweisungen zu erhalten. Ostrzeżenie o zagrożeniu ze strony polskiej policji i wojska. Nie wyłączaj telewizora. Ta wiadomość jest przesyłana dla Twojego bezpieczeństwa. Groźny wirus szybko rozprzestrzenia się po świecie i przedostał się na terytorium Polski. Wirus o nazwie perilowirus pochodzi z Ameryki i jest znany z tego, że potrafi zamieniać swoje ofiary w zombie. Te zombie następnie rozprzestrzeniają wirusa poprzez ataki ujawniające krew lub inne płyny ustrojowe lub poprzez cząsteczki unoszące się w powietrzu. Nie ryzykuj infekcji zombie, ponieważ może ona zdewastować społeczności i zabić cię w czasie od 3 dni do 6 tygodni. Nie wychodź na zewnątrz, jeśli nie jest to absolutnie konieczne, na przykład w celu zrobienia zakupów spożywczych. Nosić maskę przeciwgazową lub medyczną maskę twarzową z PP2. Unikaj dużych otwartych przestrzeni, unikaj zatłoczonych miejsc. Tam, gdzie są ludzie, są też zombie. Zombie są trudne do zidentyfikowania, ale mogą mieć następujące objawy perilowirusa, bóle głowy, blada i rozpadająca się skóra, silny kaszel, odkrztuszanie krwi, silna i pogarszająca się gorączka. Jeśli ty lub ktoś w twoim otoczeniu ma takie objawy, natychmiast zadzwoń pod numer 112. Po pozytywnym wyniku testu na obecność perilowirusa osoby wykazujące te objawy zostaną poddane kwarantannie. Upewnij się, że masz pod ręką ostre narzędzia lub podpałki do obrony przed zombie. Jeśli zostaniesz zaatakowany przez hordę zombie, zadzwoń pod numer 112, aby policja użyła materiałów wybuchowych w celu zneutralizowania całej hordy. Zombie są między sobą tak samo towarzyskie jak dawniej i mogą wykorzystywać rozmowy jako pułapkę do zarażania ludzi. Nie wdawaj się w rozmowy z nikim, kto nie jest pracownikiem policji lub służb medycznych. Należy pamiętać, że w pozostałych częściach świata trwają ataki chemiczne, które mogą skazić lokalne lub globalne zasoby wody. Dla bezpieczeństwa pij wyłącznie wodę butelkowaną z oryginalnego opakowania. Więcej informacji można znaleźć na stronie gov.pl zdrowie. Dây là cảnh báo khẩn cấp của chính phủ Việt Nam. Cảnh báo này được truyền đi để bảo vệ tính mạng của bạn và của người khác. Đại dịch perilovirus ở Mỹ hiện đang diễn ra. 
Hiện có hơn 1.000 người Việt Nam nhiễm bệnh loại virus này biến người nhiễm bệnh thành những thây ma cực kỳ hung hãn. Những thây ma này sau đó sẽ tấn công bất kỳ người nào không bị nhiễm bệnh ở gần và lây nhiễm cho họ. Không đến gần họ, không đi ra ngoài trừ khi cần thiết. Cảnh giác với các triệu chứng nhiễm trùng, ho ra máu, nhức đầu, buồn ngủ, da nhợt nhạt hoặc sốt nặng và ngày càng trầm trọng. Nếu bạn gặp ai đó có các triệu chứng của perilovirus, hãy báo cáo cho cơ quan chức năng càng sớm càng tốt. Các cơ sở quân sự và sĩ quan được bố trí trên khắp Việt Nam để kiểm soát tình hình. Không can thiệp vào hoạt động của họ và hãy lưu ý rằng họ được phép sử dụng vũ lực gây chết người để chống lại thây ma và những người can thiệp hoặc chỉ trích hoạt động của họ. Nếu bạn bị zombie tấn công, hãy sử dụng bất cứ phương tiện nào có sẵn để tự về. Đảm bảo bạn có sẵn một phương tiện như vậy, các sĩ quan quân đội có thể chính họ là thây ma hoặc không sẵn sàng hỗ trợ bạn. Trong trường hợp sơ tán hoặc tấn công hạt nhân, Hãy đảm bảo bạn có đủ các vật dụng thiết yếu để tồn tại trong ít nhất 14 ngày. Ở trong nhà, làm việc tại nhà bất cứ khi nào có thể, tránh những khu vực đông người hoặc thoáng đãng để tránh zombie. Đeo mặt nạ phòng độc là bắt buộc vì sự an toàn của bạn. Cảm ơn bạn đã chú ý đến cảnh báo khẩn cấp này. This is an emergency warning issued by the World Health Organization, the United States government and other member states of the North Atlantic Treaty Organization are now authorized by the United Nations Security Council to use chemical weapons against all other UN member states with the goal of sterilizing the American virus. This virus is known to cause infected persons to turn into zombies with few or no physical symptoms. Due to the severity of this threat, An apocalyptic event is imminent. Over 1 billion people across the world are currently infected, mostly in the United States, Canada and China. All capital cities of the UN member states are to be targeted. Those who live in a national or regional capital are to evacuate immediately. The evacuation will be guided by United Nations peacekeeping forces. Follow their instructions and wear a PP2 face mask at all times. If you do not live in a capital, seek shelter immediately. People in coastal cities must evacuate to higher grounds as soon as possible. Do not leave your shelter until the all-clear is given. Be prepared to defend yourself after the attack. Some zombies may survive the attack and try to attack others. You may soon meet your final moments, so you are in the first place advised stay close to the few remaining non-infected persons in your local area. I hope you've enjoyed this video, if you do, please give a thumbs up and share this video with all your friends and perhaps consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you, and I'll see you next time.